everyone, Linda here. It is time for the Artsy Fartsy card kit over at Your Paper Pantry Pocket Letter Card Kit. So what I'm going to make today, I'm going to be using these things that I have up here. And the challenge this month is going to be to use and make some stencils. And I just want to show you... Um, some of the stencils. I We did this one other time at Your Paper Pantry. We made stencils out of playing cards. And these are just kind of a funny playing card. So one of the stencils, the background, and you only have to make one, but of course I just got carried away. So uh, one of my stencils I'm making this way. And I'm using a corner punch and then this punch. And let's see if I can get that one there just right. And I was watching um, Texas Girl today. She it, it, on YouTube. I think it's Texas Girl. She's a member of Your Paper Pantry, and she was showing how she made her um, playing card stencils. And she used one of these border punches, and I thought it was so cool. Then the other stencil I used or made was one using uh, this arrow and this key. So that's another stencil that'll be in the kit. And then another stencil I made was of this car. Let me just show you. Let's see, so there's the car stencil. And these are just so much fun to use. They're just the right size for, and here comes Sophie, for artist trading cards. And I love to use stencils, so it's just a lot of fun. So I'm going to get started showing you what you're going to do. Those are the stencils. Then I also have a tag, and then these two pieces. You're also going to get one of these Tim Holtz um, pictures, which I cut out for this one, and you'll get a sentiment. So I want stencils and a picture and a sentiment for sure, those three things. And you only have to make one stencil. So I, I've been playing around with this card and I realized that first I made the stencil all the way down one side and that's okay but then when you get to the corner, um, now I don't know where it went, it gets all messy all the way around. So what I did is I'm making a second stencil so you'll get even another one to have a corner there. And then I'm going to take my ink. Oh, these, you know, you get the strips of pictures like that from Tim Holtz. That's what I'm using, but you can use whatever picture you want or die cut that you want. Okay, and then I'm just going to take some black ink. And this is my um, Fun Journey, Fun Stamper's Journey Fusion Ink. And this Fusion Ink is so nice. It's like a mixture of, let's see, dye and craft paint all in one and you can use it to color your Copics with so you don't have to have another kind of ink to do that with and I just thought that was so great and <laughs> the other day I got to meet um, Richard Gray the owner we I was at an event in Janesville a, a fun stampers journey event and he came and showed us the gel plate and some other fun things. And it was just so neat to, to meet him. He's such a funny and nice, talented guy. So this one I'm just going to put on there like this. It doesn't have to be perfect because a lot of it gets covered up. So now this one I'm just going to put like this. So, and, and you know, because these are kits and you get to do it any way you want, you can do that that way or you can do it any way you want to. I'm just showing you how I put mine together. It doesn't mean you have to. Then I took the tag and I put the little string in it. And I'm going to put that on here like that. But I took the other stencil, things, this one, and I stenciled the arrow on it. So I want to go off into that corner and that'll cover up you know if I messed up on that corner a little bit too. So I'm going to 
put that on there like that. And I'm going to tape that on. This is another this is another die from Fun Stamper's Journey. It's really a fun little die. It, I have it taped together here, but it has two pieces so you can cut this piece and then you, you can add, the, I tape them together, add the dots, but if you don't want the dots, you can do it without the dots. And I, I like those little dots on there. So that's on there. Then the next thing I want to put on here is the girl. And I think I'm going to take and ink her up a little bit. But you can, you know, you can use the picture as a whole picture if you want. I mean, you can do anything you want. You don't even have to use that arrow stencil. And I just want to lay this out here. I just love this little um, key, so I wanted to include that in there. I was wishing it could go off the end of the car, but I like my cards to be um, portrait so that, oh my goodness, going down the river right now is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven canoes. It's really sweet. Anyway, I shouldn't do that. I like my cards to be portrait instead of landscape because I put them in a book. So this is going to go like this. So I need to take these pieces off. And you'll get the key and you'll get the car, this cut out in black besides the stencil. So if you don't want to use the car, you can use the stencil. Let's see. Put some glue here. That was too much glue. I think I had her here. Now I forget. Gary used to say it was the Energizer Bunny, so <laughs> putting this behind the girls kind of a okay idea, I guess. All right, and then let's wipe this up. And then I have the words "Do what makes you happy," and I just type those out on cardstock and inked them a little bit, or cut them apart and inked them a little bit. So I'll have yours cut out, but not, you know, I think that's going to have to be crooked because that's the way it went. Oh, I got way too much glue. Okay. Do what makes you happy, and I really believe that. So that is my artist trading card kit. That's it put together. And let me just show you what you're going to get in your kit. Well, you probably get two of these because I'll... I'll make another one. Where did I put it? Okay, here. You'll get one like this with a corner and then one with it straight. You'll get a key and an arrow. And, I, and then you'll get the car. You'll get a tag, a picture, a string. You'll get a gold key. Uh, this is just the cutouts from the playing cards, so I threw those in there, the arrow, and then a black car. Now you can make yours like this, or you can do it any way you want, or <laughs> you can do whatever you want. The challenge, or the swap, I mean, is limited to 10 people, because it is, you know, I mean, it can be a lot of work to put those together or to, to put them. So I limit it to 10 people, and um, you'll make 10, you'll send 9, because I'm one of the 10, and it's all part of Your Paper Pantry, which is yourpaperpantry.ning.com. It's $12 a year, $1 a month. Really a great place to play and learn and exchange your artwork. So head on over to Your Paper Pantry. Sign up for the Artsy Fartsy Card Kit Swap. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.